Nigerians have not taken to the streets enough times to protest impunity, Shrinka. Nobel laureate and foremost human rights activist Professor Wale Shrinka has said Nigerians, including himself, should be held responsible for the level of impunity in the country. He said as a people, Nigerians permitted impunity in the country and did not take to the streets as much as needed. According to him, everybody in Nigeria is paying for the consequences of impunity because it was permitted. Shrinka spoke during a brief speech at the 24th edition of the Wale Shrinka lecture series organized by the National Association of Sea Dogs Pirates Confraternity held via Zoom. It was themed National Conference Against Impunity. He said, I am absolutely certain that we would agree that one of the major reasons for the dilemma we are undergoing in this country right now is that we permitted, we nurtured, we even encouraged, either by actions or inactions, the mindset of impunity, both in leadership and among the people. We ourselves are equally guilty. We ourselves allowed it. We watched it watched it happen we didn't make take it to the streets to protest it denounce it to warn of the consequences oh yes there were warnings and here and there but they were not con they were not concerted and structured however he said it is not too late to reverse the trend noting that it has to begin with a frank honest and objective dialogue the keynote speaker Professor Patrick Lumumba in his paper lambasted Nigerian and African leaders for their underachievement. He pointedly expressed disappointment that Nigeria, which had promising future, was now at a lower at the lower rungs of development courtesy of bad leadership. According to him, rather than being enraged by impunity, Nigerians and Africans have rewarded corrupt leaders with re election. Absolutely one hundred percent. It is pertinent to ask why Nigeria, which had such great promise, continues to wallow in the lower rungs of human development. Why are Africans and Nigerians silent in the face of impunity? Why, in the words of Wole Shoinka, has the man in us died? Lumumba said, according to him, the people should hold themselves responsible for refusing to act and being part of the misfortune that has befallen the country. Despite the impunity by our public office holders, by some miracle we are not enraged. It would also seem that we have lost the gift of disgust. Why this? Why is this so? Who cursed us? We are the co-authors of our own misfortune because we have lost our values and now resort to religion. We now choose to apply faith instead of logic, elevating the principle of do nothingism. We have created leaders who have arrogated to themselves the monopoly of wisdom and the country is now run in a narrow and primordial fashion he added right, cool um i all this is very much like being very honest i think it's the older generation not gonna lie um basically the older generation did not speak so the younger generation was born into it and of course you know um getting to you know obviously in the foundational years watching you know your mentors not mentors but your guardians basically your parents and other older adults that did not do anything you're born into that cycle however when you've gotten to the age of where you understand what is good and what is bad where you can think for yourself where you can actually you're in a position where you know what you you have you know autonomy over what you say you do your rights understanding that you can think for yourself the logic that you have and your independence yes it is absolutely your responsibility to choose when you want to fight and when you have to understand that you know what we cannot allow for impunity to continue. However, understanding the situation of the country, it seems as though Wale Shrinka is saying this from a very much fairy tale like point of view. You know, disregarding the context it is for you to fight for what you want in Nigeria. The fact is, if you want to fight, you have to be ready to risk your life, in which a lot of people are not willing to do so. Why would you say that? Maybe it's the fact that we've lost value for ourselves, we've lost value for this entity called Nigeria. If you taught them to fight for your region or fight for your in your indigenous land maybe there'd be more passion however we have seen it happen to a lot of people a lot of people you see nigerians are born into the cycle of endurance endurance and hard work and fortunately yes with every hurdle with everything that is put in a nigerian's way nigerians always find a way to conquer and we have always been doing that consistently so because of that faith that we have in ourselves to be self-reliant i think that is the hope that we have that is the logic that we think into be like you know what let's just continue um, but it will get to a point where we cannot help ourselves, where nothing will work, and then we would actually have to 
again listen the longer we take the harder the fight is going to be and then you know it will come to a point where we would later realize that you know what actually it's actually time to fight and then the fight will be harder um and it would be worse where there is nothing to even live for so that your risks are low and you're like you know what this life it does not even add up to anything so you're more likely and you're more inclined to actually go out and protest listen maybe nigerians have not suffered enough maybe you know the nigerians have not reached their breaking point as a nation some people have reached it more than others some haven't but it has to be united it has to be unanimous where nigerians will reach a breaking point together and then they don't need to explain to you what is happening you you but you by yourself you get on the program and you understand that listen you have got to fight so that is literally just what it is um but yes, it's. I mean, obviously, what he's saying is factual. Of course, on paper, sounds amazing. Absolutely. I mean, you read that, and you're like, you know what? Let's go and fight. And you have Professor Lumumba saying all these things as well. I mean, Professor Lumumba has remained consistent in terms of blasting African leaders a lot, and obviously, being him being a you know professor of law and all that. I mean, he he speaks facts every single time. Um, but then, obviously, he talks Africa in general. Wale Shunka is talking to Nigeria specifically, and. Um, yeah, so that's why we sort of you know take him a bit more seriously. Somebody here says let Shrinka come out and lead the protest the same way he led DPC protest against Jonathan's administration. Wow, so he was part of that as well. Okay, I mean that is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yes, we do have to take responsibility for the fact that you know we did we understood that the country was bad and we chose not to do anything about it. Um for our own selfish reasons, for reasons that are you know different for everybody but then a lot of people are just not willing to fight for this country why because we are not one the mentality is not one we do not own this country we don't have a oneness and we don't have a we don't have love for ourselves and you know the, the land we're on um because we've lost that we've actually lost that we've lost value for our core culture and um and yes we resort to religion and we rely on faith rather than logic well it, it maybe it works hand in hand because some people can't leave their religion but you cannot depend on faith alone and you just take out logic and that is where a lot of africans may seem crazy for the hope that they have because logically there is they're literally trapped and there's no way for them to get out of the situation that they're in in some of these african countries so yeah that absolutely we rely on we rely too much on faith rather than logic and that is what is killing us because the faith is sort of an escape is an escape to where we want to be and it's a temporary escape and it's addictive so we always want to go to faith every single time running away from the actual situation which requires us to apply logic but again the problem is still there like when you're addicted to anything the problem is still there you only make it worse for yourself because you're going back to that addiction which only serves you temporarily who i think in the comment section i don't forget to like and subscribe